Ahoy there, big fella. Let me pass, and no sudden moves. Oh, sounds like my friend is using her sonar to find me. Oh, that's not a whale. That's the octopod. Hey, wait a minute. You don't want to go that way. My friends, this way. No. Whoa. She must be that way. Wait! Wait! Ooh, that sounds like my friend. Where are you? Now for the biggest job of all. The water tanks have to be flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Ah. I'm on my ah. way. I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain... I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Hi, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. Uh, there's something huge up ahead. Sorry, it's just some big rocks. 
I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ew! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Octonaut, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonaut, continue the search. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Oh, it's Cousin Irving! There you go. Thanks, Mr. Octonaut. Oh, it's nothing. Stick close to your family. Whoa! That's a big family. Where's everybody going? Out of the reef to deeper water. That way we'll be safe from the big storm. Big storm? What big storm? The one that's heading this way, mister. If there's a storm coming, I'd better make sure everyone in the reef is safe. So long, matey! Yow! You sure have a... Big grip for a little lobster. Thanks, mister. See ya. Mom! Mom! He said I have a big grip. That's nice, dear. Marty, can you hear me? This is urgent. There's a big storm on the way, and you've got to get back to the octopod before it gets here. Aye. Just let me do a quick check of the reef to make sure everyone's safe. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get back before the storm gets here. Captain, the storm is coming quickly. It's only ten minutes away. Quasi, we'll keep the octa hatch open for as long as we can. Thanks, Captain. Yow! Sea urchin in trouble! Away. Aye, aye. Gotcha. Eight minutes. Almost done here. All done. I'm heading home. Farewell. Only seven minutes. Can you hear me? Get back to the octopod now. Can you hear me? Captain, I... Only five minutes till the storm gets here. Ah. Twig, get the Gup C ready. I'm going after him. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. <gasps> Shiver! Whiskers! 
Stop, eh? Having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. They're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. Who's <laughs> Can't seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. Octonauts, we need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Ready, Tweak? Now, close it! Phew! Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, me hearties. No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> what? what? <laughs> Who cleaned the cup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the cup and I'm ready for more, more, more. You mean, you like cleaning? I like it. I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. Ha <laughs> Then dinner is served. Oh yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Mm, delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. To Sandy. Uh huh, but we better catch up soon, because she's headed straight for that whirlpool. Rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap. Captain, I'm going in! 
Okay! Quasi! Needlefish! Coming up fast from behind! Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the gut bee again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the gut bee. <sighs> I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We won races together. I made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the Gupsy ready, Twig? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Twig, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. It looks like we're getting close to the gut bee. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. <gasps> Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest. Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh, Quasi? Oh. Let's go, Shellington. Amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on, that must be the gut bee. Come back here. Hey, what did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Hi, matey, but they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> Stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. 